Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, my name is Rob. Now, Dragon Ball The Breakers has another network test. You can click a link in the description to sign up for that. It is over the weekend of August 5th and 6th. It also has a release date, finally, October 14th. Plus, a special and a limited edition. Special edition, you get costume, customizable costume, a two-handed victory pose, uh, a vehicle skin, the dragon in yellow. That's not saying that the dragon is locked to getting a special edition. Just the yellow one, maybe. Uh, Pre-order bonus of Android 18 Transfer and skill with her is a wall kick. Accessory, Blue Scouter. Eh? I don't know if Android 18 is locked behind this pre-order bonus. Surely not. That would be... that would suck, but... There's also a limited edition, which comes with a cell shell figure. Say that one fast. It's 9 by 15 centimeters. It's him busting out of his thing, the cocoon left over. You also get a steelbook and stickers with the limited edition. Now that is exclusive to the Namco store currently. Whether that will change, I uh, doesn't seem like it. But you also get all the other stuff as well. So, if you don't know what Dragon Ball The Breakers is, there was a closed beta in December. It was so good. Honestly, it rocked. Check out some videos on my channel. There's a playlist on the end of the screen or down the description of that series. I'll also teach you how to play as we get closer to the network test. But basically, Dragon Ball Breakers is an asymmetrical game. One person plays as the big bad guy, whether it be Cell, now Freezer, and hopefully Boo will be in the open beta, which will be closer to release. And you play as a big baddie, and then there's seven normal humans trying to escape in a time machine who can also get powered up and fight back. They're not quite as strong as the boss, but Together, they can be. They can be quite powerful. And you can customize your hero that you choose. You can be Tian, Krillin, Goku, Vegeta, and then change their powers. A lot of customization there. It's really fun. Like, the beta, I was hooked. I've been dying to play this game again. The last game I was excited for was Animal Crossing, and before that was Breath of the Wild. And before that, I can't remember. This is a game that I've been wanting to play since I got a little taste in December. I know a lot of people saw the trailer, and they were like, Whoa, where's Xenoverse 3? Come on, like really, like you've got the same games, you just want the same things again and again and again. Everyone's like, this is too different, I don't like it. It's so much fun. I cannot wait for this network test and to try out Freezer. So I recommend checking out those videos that I mentioned of my playthrough through the first network test. I'll teach you how to play through if you haven't played through before and get you ready for the next network test. And we can rock it, man. It's so much fun. I cannot wait for this game.